Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have for you another DIY for our Easter month. It is another Easter basket. And this time I focused the Easter basket on a teenager. So I tried to create a basket that a lot of teenagers would probably like. And like I always say, baskets are customizable to what your child wants or niece wants. You can pretty much put anything in there as long as you think about it and try to make it a little more modern for them. So here is the Easter basket up close. As you can see, I didn't use the traditional Easter basket and you don't have to. They'll probably appreciate the fact that they can use the basket once they get all of this good stuff out of there. This bit, I bought it at Target and I think it was $5.99 and it's right around where all the storage area is. It's basically to store, I don't know what it is, to, it says media bin. So I'm thinking you store CDs, but nobody really buys CDs anymore. So I bought a couple of them and I use them to store all of my, my skincare products, my hair products. So everything can be organized inside of this. I think this would be perfect for a teenager because like I said, once you take everything out, they can use it as an organizer and it looks really pretty and really chic. I would say so. Inside of it, I have a couple of makeup products. So over here, I threw in a Real Techniques Stippling Brush, and these are really inexpensive, especially if you get them at Ulta. They always have discounts at Ulta, especially that coupon that you get in the mail all the time. So again, this is a Real Techniques Stippling Brush. I also included the Maybelline, the Falsies Push-Up Drama. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but this one is really popular right now, and I hear a lot of great reviews on it. I also added a lip product in there, and this one is the new Revlon Matte Lip Colors, and it's basically a lip cream. And these are very pigmented for that, for that teen girl who loves her lip products. It just smells really good, and it's really inexpensive. And again, it's a drugstore product that you can also get at Ulta with that discount. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be this type of color. If your teenager likes to wear neutrals, like soft lip colors, go ahead and get her a nude lip lipstick should probably like that anyways right here i added wipes some makeup removing wipes these are actually purchased at the dollar store they have a lot of products like this coming to this side i also added a nail polish remover another staple that a girl should own nail polish remover it's a good way to have them stock up and it's really inexpensive and you know they're going to use it and with that i included a nail polish and this one is from the brand trust fund beauty i think it goes perfect because it's a beautiful lavender colors i also included a couple things for their room which is this skittle scented candle and this one smells like raspberries it smells really delicious and it kind of goes along with all the candy that i'm adding into it and this i also purchased at the dollar store this is a dollar store purchase and it says dream dream bigger dreams teen girls love their quotes and this one i love because you kind of want to inspire them so i thought it was cute so here's another item that I included in there, and this this one is from Michaels. They have a little section now in Michaels where they have a lot of cute little girly items that are like from $1 to like, let's say $10, and go in there and pick whatever you want and add into the box because they have a lot of cute stuff. This is a gardenia scented sachet, and I don't know if you guys have seen them before. You basically hang these where you hang your, your clothes. This gives your, your closet and your clothes a nice aroma, so it can smell really nice and sweet. And um, it's perfect. The girls like to smell good. So another micro purchase is these little notebooks that I found. And this one is for that fitness girl that just loves to um, kind of jot down everything they, everything they eat. They kind of, they love to get themselves into fitness and things like that. Now, this was a perfect find for the basket. It has like your daily log, what you have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, your exercise logs, and then room for, for notes and things like that. So... So I also picked up this notebook and it says inspiration and I picked it up because I thought it was perfect for that teenager who doesn't necessarily like to be open about her emotions. You know sometimes teenagers go through so much stuff at school and they don't necessarily like to tell you what it is but they can write it down for their own sanity I feel like. I feel like writing is a really good therapy for teenagers whether they talk to you about it or not they can jot down what they're feeling, their emotions, whether they're angry, sad, their challenges in school, things like that. And it's just perfect. It has, um, the pages are all the same, but they said today's focus and they have a little space for that. Quote of the day, notes, thoughts, questions. I learned my strengths, my weaknesses. What can I improve? I challenged myself to their... There's just so many things they can use 
this notebook for. So details like that that they can enjoy for themselves. So and what I mostly see my nieces eating is spice, spicy food, like spicy chips, spicy corn nuts, spicy lollipops, things like that, or sour stuff. So I bought a couple of these sour punch stuff and I got some of the little trolley, the trolley peach sour gummies and I put them into and I put them into the Easter eggs in there, of course. And you can't forget your airheads. I have some nerds over here that I I have some nerds over here that you just cannot forget. I just I loved the look of it. And spicy corn nuts. You can also add their favorite. You can also add the favorite chips like Duckies or Cheetos or you know things like that. So this basket can go in any way. Just think of your child and what you would like in it. You don't necessarily have to purchase so many beauty products. Just things that you know that they would like. Like I said, the dollar store, the 99 cent store right now is full of candy, Easter candy, any type of candy, which is where I got the Nerds and the Airheads, the little trolley peach gummies. I got all of the candy from there and that's a good, it's probably a good place to start while building this. And then you can add like, and then you can add like maybe like something that they'll really enjoy, like a makeup brush or a lipstick, things like that. And yeah, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot more DIYs coming your way, including a lot of DIY bridesmaid boxes that I have for you. Since my wedding is coming up, I decided I would do a lot of wedding inspired stuff for you. So if you, so if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss out on that. With that said, I'll see you next time.